There are 10,000 people aged 50 and older in the state prison system. It's an antiquated system that is in need of major work. That was the central theme of a forum on New York State's parole board hosted by New York State Senators Louis Sepulveda, ranking member on the Committee on Crime Victims, Crime and Correction, and Gustavo Rivera, ranking member on the Health Committee. Both heard from justice reform groups, including released aging people in prisons, Associate Director Dave George, who went on to share that there are 5,000 who are of the age of 55 and over. People in their 60s, 70s, 80s, and even 90s, people who pose zero risk to public safety, um, but languish. At the age of 55, when people are incarcerated, it costs the state anywhere between 140 to $240,000 a year to house these, uh, these inmates. And again, many of them don't pose a threat anymore. With Democrats, the new majority in the Senate, Sepulveda and Rivera, see it as an opportunity to bring real change. Sadly, my Republican colleagues over many, many years have set up a system in the state of New York that in a lot of ways does not do that. Currently, there are 12 out of 15 members serving on the board, both joined by Senator Jamal Bailey, want to see it filled even as several terms are set to expire in 2019. The hope is to see broader representation ready to listen for the progress of an applicant. If we're going to judge someone strictly by the worst event in their life, uh, if they committed a crime, but if they accept the responsibility for that crime, if they have done a lot to transform themselves and the people around them, uh, then shouldn't we allow them an opportunity to come back into society? I'm formerly incarcerated. I was released a little over 10 months ago after 38 years of incarceration. Director of Community Organizing from Release Aging People in Prison, Jose Hamza Saldana, was also there to speak on behalf of those waiting to be released. I'm very aware that a lot of these men hundreds of them that I personally know, they are beyond rehabilitation. They have redeemed themselves tenfold by creating outstanding programs that transform thousands of lives throughout the state of New York. There are a lot of things in the justice system that we need to kind of look at and overhaul okay. and, and not just focus on one thing. I think that we can holistically do it, and I'm grateful for Senator Sepulveda and Senator Rivera for putting this together, and as well as Senator Gallivan from, from Buffalo. This meeting was all about gathering data that the leaders here hope will result in legislation that will bring true reform to the parole board. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.